All right, so here we go. We got the, uh, the hood up on the Jeep again. And today we are talking about trying to get the most power that we can out of the 2.5 liter TJ. Now I have owned this vehicle for 15 years now. And over the years I've done uh, some modifications to try to get a little bit more out of it. Um, the ones I've done to the motor are, I put a velocity stacker on it. Um, I'm not really sure how much the velocity stacker helps, but uh, between it and the uh, throttle body. Now this throttle body came from a 97 TJ uh, 4.0. And the 4.0 and the 2.5 will bolt directly on top of each other. So my buddy, he, uh, he got a um, uh, bored out throttle body and he needed a, uh, a core to send back. So I paid him 20 bucks for his one off his TJ and I put it on here and I give him my uh, 2.5 liter one and you'll notice the hole in the 2.5 is like that and the the 4.0 is like that all you do is swap over your your little sensors and everything else bolts up uh, good to go next thing is I am running mobile one full synthetic um, and a synthetic filter uh, meant for it so you know that that definitely has helped. I uh, didn't really notice it right off the bat, but um, the, about the time you change it the second time, you'll really start getting a, uh, the improvement. Uh, idles a lot smoother, runs a lot cooler. Um, so, did that. And then we have the aluminum radiator. Um, again, this wasn't an expensive aluminum radiator, but uh, I swapped it out because I kept having to change the radiator every few years. Um, because the plastic cap and the metal core would always have some type of leak. So between the aluminum radiator, the 4.0 throttle body, the velocity stacker, and the oil, uh, with 456 gears and 31 1050s. So I have the Ford 8.8 .8 under there with the axle truss and I'm running the Dana 30 with uh, G80 up front so I got a limited slip in the rear and uh, a G80 locked in the front I did uh, a test the other day with 86 octane um, towing my trailer a little bit with a four-wheeler motorcycle and about 200 pounds worth of crap on it uh, I was getting 19.8 miles a gallon in El Paso that means 60 mile an hour, 65 mile an hour on the highway, getting off an exit, getting on an exit, and a lot of stop and go because people can't drive. Um, without it, I got 23 miles to the gallon uh, doing 70 miles an hour on uh, my trip up to Alamogordo and back. So, that is what I have so far. So, what does this mean now? Well, I haven't put sea foam in this thing in a couple years now. So this will be the first time uh, uh, I've sea foamed it, and last time I did it was because I got some really crappy gas. I had water and all kinds of stuff in it, and it just it idled like crap. And these these are Bosch double iridium uh, premium plugs. Now the old plugs in there are about fifty thousand miles or so, and I'm about to go do a two thousand mile road trip, so. You know, it's probably time to go ahead and swap these out. Now the wires, I switched them out the last time I switched out the plugs about 50,000 miles ago. But right now I'm more interested in just uh, doing the plugs and seeing how that does. So, as it stands, 2.5 liter Jeep, you know, 15 years old, um, 19 plus city, you know, towing a little bit and 23 on the highway so we will put these in run 86 octane repeat and see if this plus the sea foam plus all the other stuff i've done uh improves it anymore all right so i just uh pulled out one of the plugs on the number two cylinder there and this is the new plug Let's see if we'll focus there that's the new Bosch. These were, I think at the time, it was probably like the cheapest plugs I could get because I, I didn't have any money. And as you can see, the end of that thing is just 
almost looks melted in there. 50,000 miles on it. They look like they were still burning clean. They're still, still doing all right. Just, it's just time for new ones. So we'll put these in and uh, we'll take a look and see how well that uh, changes the performance. All right, that's the plug from the number one cylinder. Let's see if that'll focus any better down there. There you go. See how it's just almost looks melted. Still, it's not overly black. Nice kind of gray color. Still means it's burning. Still means it's working pretty good for almost 50,000 miles. It's not too bad. And that is the one from the number three cylinder. All right, and that is the number four plug. All of them, not so bad. Uh, I would expect them to have been a lot worse. Uh, nice gray color. Uh, means my rings are still good. I'm here and 47,000 miles on it, but uh, still going strong. All right, let's see how she does. We'll fire up. She's got the sea foam there, new plugs. You get out on the highway and you start picking it up to about 2500 rpm and you start hearing that of that intake sucking you know how much air it's bringing in but take it out on the road here in a minute we'll see how that uh see if that uh, helped out at all